Hey, what's up guys, Sebastian here again and welcome to this video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you which online business you should start with based on where you're standing at right now. So I'm gonna give you several scenarios and this is gonna be important because maybe at this point, you have been making a research online, you have been watching a lot of YouTube videos like this one. You might be reading blog posts and seeing you know, Facebook posts and Facebook groups. You have all this information in your head, but now when it's time to execute, maybe you simply don't know what to do. Am I right? If that's you, then pay close attention because I'm gonna tell you in which ways you can actually start generating an income based on where you're currently standing at right now. If you haven't subscribed, guys, be sure to do that as well. It's gonna help the channel and I'm gonna be recording one video every single day for you based on the concepts that I think you should know to get results online, okay? I've failed so many times and I've had good successes as well um, and I think you could benefit from all this information. Having said that, I have my a 10x planner over here. Um, I always have this stuff for the notes and as you can see, it's just full of notes. I just use it for everything, it's amazing. So I have my notes over here, over here and I think we are ready. Now, first of all, I wanna get started by telling you how I got started online. So the first thing that happened when I first started was that I ran out of money. Like I didn't have any money when I first started. I had some money in my bank from Christmas gifts and birthday gifts from my grandparents and all that stuff. Like when you're, when you're little, they start giving you gifts, right? And, and when you ask for money, they just give you money. So I did have a little bit of money, but I spent it pretty quickly. So that then I was back to zero. So at that point, I knew a lot of people were using paid advertisement to scale and grow their businesses online. So I was learning about paid ads. But I had to be realistic. I had to be realistic about my current circumstances, which was, which were that I didn't have any money to spend on ads. So it was not a practical move, even if I knew that it was going to be good for the long term. It was not a practical move to get started with paid ads if I simply couldn't pay for ads, right? It's just the truth. And if you have like a hundred bucks, I think it's still not enough money to get started with paid advertisement because you will run out of money pretty quickly unless you get something really profitable right out of the gate, which is not usually the case, and especially if you're starting out, okay? Now, I'm gonna be talking specifically if you're starting out online and if you don't have a lot of capital, okay? This is something that I'm, I'm with this video, I'm targeting people, they don't have a lot of capital because that's how I started. The truth is that most people come to the online world without a lot of capital. Right, people don't come online because um, to make like extra millions. People usually come online to generate an, an extra income stream, to pay their debt, to look for time, location, and financial freedom. Okay, the, the three types of freedoms um, time freedom, working whenever you want, location freedom, working wherever you want, financial freedom, doing whatever you want because you have enough money to do what you want, pretty much. Now, if that's you, which I think you are, pay close attention because I'm gonna tell you how I first started. I first started with services and affiliate marketing. Even if I knew that people were making money with other business models, I started with those two because I had to admit my current circumstances, which were I don't have the money for paid ads. So instead of trading money, which I didn't have to make money, I trade time, which is something I did have for money. You trade time first, to make money and then once you have money you can trade money to make more money right hopefully that makes sense so when you do services and you, you see me talking about this all the time in different videos when you sell services you're trading your time for money so you can be good at marketing you can be good at real estate at relationships at cooking fitness at math any of those skills like regardless of which skill you have you can sell a service on that on that right you can create a course you can uh trade, you can pretty much tell people that you will give them one hour of your time to help them achieve a goal, right? So pretty much like a consultation. Any type of service, like you could go to uh, your friend's house and charge them for helping them in something, in their math homework. So start by selling services online because that way you will be able to start generating capital. That's the first option. I started doing that by selling websites. So I didn't know anything about marketing. I didn't know anything about email marketing, about conversions. I didn't know about sales funnels and advertisement. I just knew how to use WordPress to build websites in 30 minutes, really nice websites, simple word, uh, WordPress websites. And I charged people to make their website pretty much. So that's something I started doing and I started generating a hundred to $300 per day in high school by doing that. Now, then I actually had money, I had like 10 grand, right? So then what I did is I invested on a high level mastermind and um, the other money that I, that I had left on my bank account, I used it for paid advertisement. 
it was until that time because I, divide, I decided to divide the money that I made like in, in, in my knowledge, part of upgrading my knowledge and the other part like, you know, leveraging paid ads to grow my business. So that's what I did. That was my strategy plan. Um, if I could go back, I would probably change several things, but that was my strategy plan. Now, the second model, I think it's very, very effective if you want to get started online. The, the type of online business you want to create is of uh, affiliate marketing, right? So even if I have made over $2 million in sales with e-commerce, I started with affiliate marketing. Why? Because that way I didn't have to create my own products. I knew nothing about product creation. I knew nothing about creating sales funnels or landing pages. I knew nothing about processing payments and getting paid to my bank account. I knew nothing about fulfilling and building teams and hiring people. Things that you need to do when you build a product, right? You have to have someone answering emails. You have to do the advertisement. You have to connect your payment gateway with your bank account. You have to process payments. You have to promote sales funnels, all these things. When you're first starting out and you have no idea on how to do all this stuff, a business model that allows you to get started fast and start making money fast is affiliate marketing. In affiliate marketing, I'm going to be making a video that goes deeper into this topic. Uh, what is affiliate marketing? But I'm going to give you a general overview. Affiliate marketing is when you take someone else's product and you start promoting it, selling people so that they buy it. And when someone buys, the product owner is going to pay you a commission of the revenue generated. So for instance, Apple has an affiliate program where you can go ahead and become an Apple affiliate. And let's say that you start promoting people, you start telling people, hey, buy this iPad, buy this iPad, buy this iPad. And when they buy the iPad through your unique affiliate link, Apple is gonna pay you a percentage of the total sale, which is really good because all the heavy lifting is being done by Apple. Apple is taking care of the fulfillment, taking care of sending the iPad to your client and taking care of customer service. So you're really just getting paid for, send, for referring someone. It's a very attractive business model if you're starting out. Now, like I told you, I've made a lot of money with e-commerce, but at the same time, I understand it's like, it's a lot of work. And I think that if you're starting out, if you have no experience whatsoever on creating an online business, you should make your life as easy as possible. Like you should make your life very easy because like, trust me, you will learn about all this stuff. You will learn about creating companies. You will learn about sales funnels. You will learn about payment gateways and team building. If you want to be a successful long-term entrepreneur, you will have to learn that stuff. But when you are new, you don't want to have like all these topics coming to you, like smashing your face with knowledge and because you will go into a stage of information overload. So what I think is the best way for you to start uh, online, like create an online business is learn while you earn and use business models that are very practical in terms of the investment that they require and the work that they require. Now services is a good one, like I mentioned, because you don't have to invest your money. That's good. And another good one is affiliate marketing because that way you can earn money and you don't have to create the products yourself. You can leverage other products and other people's systems and, and business to make money. Throughout that way, you will start to learn about sales funnels and fulfillment and all this stuff. And eventually you will end up doing a big business, which can be even e-commerce, which can be a big operation. And that can be your long-term exit plan. But for in the beginning, I'm talking to people, to starters, right? If you're watching this video, is because the, the title attract your attention. The title is what is the best online business to start? Okay. So at this point you, you are starting out. You probably came to the internet because you're looking for an extra income stream. you maybe, you, I don't think you're a millionaire if you came online because usually like if you're a millionaire or you're doing millions offline, you would probably not come and watch a video about what is the best online business to start. So really I know where I'm, uh, to which people I'm talking about and I can relate with you because when I first started guys, the truth is I just wanted to make money. I just wanted to make money because I was in high school and I wanted to make an extra hundred dollars a day because that was going to be an insane income for me if I was 17 or 16 years old. It was going to be an insane income. I was going to change my life. I didn't, I wouldn't have to be able, I wouldn't have to get a job after I graduated from high school that way I, because I was making enough money. I could prove my parents that it worked. I could prove everyone that it worked. I just wanted to make money. That's the truth. The truth is that when you're first starting out online, you are not like, oh man, my dream is to have an affiliate marketing business or my dream is to have an e-commerce business. You're like, okay, where can I get my cut? Where can I go and get my money? Uh, if it's affiliate, okay, let's do affiliate. If it's e-commerce, let's do e-commerce. I'm just being real. I think that's the, what most people think. Like they don't really care which business model they're in as, as long as they can get results fast. And um, this is good and bad, right? So 
that's that's I think the most practical option. Like under the, the first step, guys, before you do anything, is being real with yourself and understanding where you're currently standing at right now. Right? Just just being like, okay, man, at this point I don't have money. So even if I really want to do this business model, it requires a lot of money. So I'm probably gonna get started with something that generates me money first and where I don't actually have <laughs> my audio over here. Hopefully it's working. I think this stuff is working because uh, this is something really strange. I got my new camera, I got uh, this um, microphone and uh, I have to actually record the audio over here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I got a phone call. So it was, hopefully I'm just gonna edit that out. Um, apart from that, guys, I wanna tell you one thing and I got another call. <laughs> I got another call. So all the different business models work. All you have to do is figure out which one is for you based on your current circumstances. And you're gonna understand that since every single business model works, it's a matter of focusing on that business model. It's a matter of putting your energy and your time and your resources into one thing, getting results there first. And once you have results over there, yeah, you can transition, you can expand. Now, this is a mistake that most newbies do they start expanding, they start diversifying before getting results in something, okay? That's really important. You have to, well, that, that's, that's really something you should avoid. You have to focus on your focus. If you haven't made results online, you shouldn't be diversifying and doing a little bit of everything. You should do it step by step. First step is to have capital, right? Even if people tell you you don't need capital, you need capital, that's the first step. The second step, is going all in in a business model, the one you choose. In my case, I went all in with e-commerce. I did went all in in e-commerce and I still do e-commerce. I manufacture my own products, I have amazing products. But I started with other models because it was practical at that time, at that point in my life. So that's really what, I, that's really what, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you over here. Now, if you feel that you already have capital and you can get started, maybe you have 2,000 bucks, 3,000 bucks, Man, go for, go for any business model that you really like because if you have money, it's gonna be a bit easier. Like for example, if, you, if you're gonna do e-commerce and you have 3,000 bucks, 5,000 bucks, then it's gonna be easier to start. It's just the truth and you're gonna have a competitive advantage because um, most people get started you know, with, without money so it, it takes them more time to get momentum. So that's really, my, that's really my suggestion. What is the best online business to start? The answer is all business models work. All business models can make you a millionaire, but I think the best two, if you have no experience, if you have no money to start with, are affiliate marketing and uh, services. And you can even combine both of them, you know, by telling people uh, like, hey, I'm gonna give you this service. By the way, to get the best results in this service, I suggest you get this tool and then you can make a commission when you refer them to that tool. So you're kind of combining business models and making your own kind of like agency maybe by giving services and also recommending tools and getting commissions. And, um, and then, yeah, now you're making money. Now you can manufacture your own products or you can create your own products and start buying uh, maybe like softwares like Kajabi that allow you to create a membership site. You can put your content and sell your own course, right? But, but all, all these things require your money. Like for instance, um, this software that I'm using for membership sites, Kajabi, it starts at a hundred something a month, I believe. Like right now I'm paying 300 for that one. I'm paying 250 for GoToWebinar. I used to pay 500 for GoToWebinar. I'm paying 250 for Infusionsoft. Um, I'm paying a, a lot of <laughs> Shopify for apps and stuff. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, I am using so many softwares, but nowadays, my business is producing, so I can afford those softwares and those softwares allow me to grow my business. Hopefully this makes sense, guys. Um, but like I'm telling you, services and affiliate marketing are a good way to start with. Just don't think like just because I said that doesn't mean that you will fail in the other ones. You might as well make a lot of money in whatever business you are in because I know that you are smart. I know you're intelligent. I know you can make amazing things. Just focus, guys. Focus on the business model. Focus. Apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, just hit a thumbs up. And um, that's pretty much it for this one. See you in the next one.